How's it going, everybody? I just wanted to drop in real quick with a quick tip for those of you who are voiceover users on Mac OS and also either are considering getting or already own the Focusrite Vocaster or Vocaster 2. The problem to be solved here is I like to be 100% certain of what audio I'm sending where and I had a couple of friends who tried out the Vocaster or owned the Vocaster and on Mac OS they were unable to reliably ensure that when in say in a Zoom call or Skype call that they were not sending voice over audio back out over the mix and of course as a screen reader user we're plugged into the interface itself directly and we're routing all of our audio through the interface right but we also want to make sure that people are not hearing voiceover unless that's a part of the plan so i borrowed one of these uh and i wanted to one try to troubleshoot this issue because i was thinking well there are some you know outlines on the focus right website to explain how to do this new virtual device button um you know, try to resolve this issue. It wasn't working for people. So, you know, best way for me to deal with that is to get some hands-on time with, with the interface. I did some testing, was able to get audio, uh, just my microphone audio going into recording applications just fine. I tried out voice memos actually on the Mac. And uh, that was fine. But as soon as I jumped into a Zoom meeting a couple of days later, well, guess what? They were hearing me. They were hearing voiceover. They were even hearing themselves. Now, fortunately... It was my podcast host host and very good friend, Michael Babcock. So one, he understood what was going on. And two, he was you know patient enough for me to resolve the problem before we got down to it. We were actually just testing, right? Always test before you go live with anything new. So I reached for the tool that I always reach for on the Mac OS when I need to route audio or manage the flow of audio in any sort of way. And that is loop back from Rogue Amoeba. And the solution I came up with is to basically recreate a version of what Focusrite Vocaster users get on Windows, where they're able to expose the host microphone, the line in, uh, or the aux, as it's called, uh, the loopback channels, and, you know, pick in within the system you know, where they want stuff to go. If they want the loop back to go into Zoom, they select that. But if they don't, they just select the host microphone, right? So I recreated that with loop back in virtual devices. To a point, I'm going to very quickly walk you through creating the host microphone device, at least. And from there, the steps are repeatable for what you want to use. Loop back audio. Content so select. first, I'm going to hit the button to create a new device, and I'm going to name this Selection replaced. Host. host 1. One, because it makes my life easier. New source menu button, and I'm going to pick a new source menu. Vocaster to USB. I'm going to arrow up to Vocaster to USB. New source menu button. Vocaster to USB. And now I have the Vocaster to USB here. Now I'm going to do a little cleanup before I start adding stuff. Pass through. So first, let's get rid of the pass through device that was automatically added by Loopback because I don't need to pass audio through this device at all. And now I'm going to go over to the channels that are already here. Vocaster to USB. Auto mapped. Vocaster to USB channel two. Output channel two. And delete, delete those. Channels one and two. Vocaster to USB channel one to output channel one. Delete. So that had output channel, uh, Vocaster channel one going to output one, Vocaster channel two going to output two. Just deleted those. So now there are no connections. Vocaster to USB. Go back to Vocaster. In Vocaster to USB. Interact. Source channels. In source channels. 14 items. Vocaster to USB channel one. And now interact again. And now I'm down into the channel list. And it exposes all of the channels. This now, item has a help tag. Big deal or, or big thanks to Focusrite for putting the mapping for the channels on their website for the Vocaster 1 and 2. So by looking at that map, I know that the host microphone on both devices is channel 5. Vocaster USB channel 5. So I'm going to USB channel 5 to output channel 1. Add a wire that connects Vocaster channel 5 to output channel 1. Vocaster USB. In source channels. In source channel. Vocaster USB channel 6. Vocaster USB, Vocaster USB channel 5 to output channel Except 1. I'm going to map channel 5. Vocaster USB channel 5 to output channel 2. To channel output channel 2. And there's my host microphone. And now in Zoom, Skype, FaceTime, anywhere within the system, I am able to choose the host microphone. And Out of host 1. While I'm certain that there are other ways to have accomplished this task, I know as a user and as a semi professional audio user that the audio flowing into Zoom next time I'm in a meeting is only what I intend for people to hear, which is my microphone. Hope you found this helpful. You can reach out to me on Twitter at Damasi, D-A-M-A-S-H-E, or ping the channels 
owner and founder, Michael Babcock, at Payone, P-A-Y-O-W-N.